My name is Joe Rucklick. The word is keep it short. I think I'll read you my NBA stats. <laughs> I recall it, of course. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I came from Chicago to be here at the invitation of Barb Lewis, and it's an honor. I played uh, college ball during the same years that Wilt played, and for three seasons, Wilt's last three with the Philadelphia Warriors, I was the substitute center, which means I saw a lot of Will Chamberlain playing basketball. <laughs> I'm grateful to Barbara Lewis. We've been in touch, and I consider her a friend because I was, she recruited me to work on the uh, petition job of the, uh, for the uh, commemorative stamp. And she said to me, you can get on our list if you render as many signatures on petitions as Will Chamberlain and my brother scored. And I didn't make it, of course. <laughs> I got, I got uh, enough. Uh, signatures to match the number of points that I scored in my three years behind Wilt. It was a great honor to know Wilt Chamberlain and to be his teammate. And uh, it's a great honor to be in Philadelphia at this moment. I grew up in the Midwest and Philadelphia is uh, the country's history city. And we love it. Two of our three children were born at Fitzgerald Mercy Hospital. And I love the city. And I uh, I loved playing basketball against Will Chamberlain because we were both big competitors, centers, with a lot in common. Some awkwardness in our childhoods and uh, a good deal of serious intellectuality in Will Chamberlain. He and I were at work on a book which he wanted to call Transitions when he died. And the book was to be about youngsters moving from great school athletes, to high school, to college, and then on to pro sports. And he had me do a lot of research. I came upon a, a passage in the Plato Dialogues in which Socrates tells Plato, we are born to compete, we are born to fight and struggle, because we are born to complete, compete and fight and struggle against ourselves. So his premise in the book was that to develop proper competitive spirit, and to do it in a healthy way, was the route to success. I can tell you those conversations we had over the years were brilliant and delightful, because we were similar kinds of guys. I'm going to be brief. Um, my sophomore year, we beat Western Michigan. We were ticketed to win the Big Ten title. One of my teammates, Bob Rossiter, drove up from Ellicott City. He's here because he was with us when we went to Lawrence to play against Wilt in Wilt's first college game and our second. Bob, take a bow, will you please? Speaking of teammates, as Tom was, it's great to have teammates and memories, and I consider myself a teammate of Will Chamberlain's in a way. I want story, and then I'll leave. I, uh, I uh, want to be modest, and for good reason. But I, I have a uh, thing to tell you that uh, is a remarkable achievement in American history. Not only American sports history, American history. And modestly, I must tell you that I was an integral part of it. And as long as sports are played, I will be known as a key figure in American history. And remember, I'm being modest about this. I don't brag about it. We went down to Kansas, got a scouting report on the Jayhawks. We knew they were tough. We had a good team, too. And um, the place was mobbed. The, 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 the fans in the uh, stadium were in a state of sort of awe because this was Will Chamberlain's first uh, uh, competitive game. I think his team had beaten the varsity when they were freshmen. And, uh, Bob Billings, whose wife is here, whose widow is here, uh, was on that team, terrific player. And uh, I achieved something remarkable in the game against Wilt. I remember I'm not right. I helped Wilt Chamberlain 52 in his first college. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> he invited me to the uh, ceremonies uh, when Kansas uh, retired his jersey number. And I'm the only opposing player, and my son John was invited too. Please stand, John. <laughs> we had a great time. And I said, look, there's no, you can play this great players, and there's no opposing player here. And he said, well, I, I'm always glad to see you. I got 52 against you. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, in a way, I was a teammate. Then I'm drafted by Philadelphia. Then I sit the bench behind him for three seasons, and we had a great time. And I am delighted to be part of the Chamberlain Nation, of which Barbara Lewis is the First Lady. So thank you for inviting me, and in commemoration of uh, my experience with the Chamberlain family and with the Chamberlain himself. Barry? Yeah. Oh, there you are, thank you. Uh, I, want to, I want to give you, Barbara a picture of me so that she remembers me. <laughs> I'm the one on the right. 